I'm here at Smashbox Studios with the best brow artist ever, Christy Stryker. Christy, welcome, welcome, welcome Thank to the studios. You. Thank you. I mean, you have seen Christy's work on some of the top celebrities on the red carpets in an amazing editorial. Brows are getting ready to have a colossal moment. It's kind of cliche, but they say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Agreed. So the eyebrows are the frames to the windows of the soul. So I feel like it is really important to have you know, a full, beautifully shaped, I believe, natural eyebrow. It can really define not only the eyes, but the bone structure of the face. And it can Amazing. really accentuate cheekbones. And sometimes, you know, the opposite, if they're poorly shaped or they're too round, it can really accentuate dark circles and, and things like this. So Christy, this is the Brow Tech matte pencil and I love this pencil and I think this is going to be one of your favorite tools. I love a matte pencil. I feel like that's probably the most natural way to fill in the eyebrows. The pointed tip of this pencil because you can really kind of get in there and blend it out and it's not too big to where right. it's, it's kind of putting product where you don't want it. And you can almost create little hair strokes with it. I agree and you know what I love too? I love the fact that the spoolie actually is on the other side of it. Exactly. So it really helps Blends to out. It helps mm -hmm. for blending and actually combing the brows in the direction that you want them to go. First rule that I always love to do mm -hmm. and use when I'm filling in the brow. I like to hold the skin really tight and I like to lift it in the direction where you want the arch to go. And using little feather strokes and sort of gently brushing the skin and the hair with the color. And you can kind of go a couple different directions and you can always add more and, and blend it out. So it should look really natural and, and you can always sort of brush the hair a couple different ways and see how it's gonna look. The color match is perfect. And a common thing that I see too, and Zana has it a little bit, is the most um, hair in her brow is in this front area here. Right. At, which can kind of sort of angle in and downward. Mm -hmm. So to really balance out by filling in the outer portion of the brow really created a lot of balance for her mm -hmm. and really accentuated her arch. Right. Start first where you need it the most. Exactly, Absolutely. start where you're sparse. I love that. Start where you're sparse. Start where you're sparse. Start where you're sparse. We want to get them on, we need them to stay on. So I love that this product is long wearing, smudge resistant, it's humidity resistant, and it just is going to stay in place. The wearability is amazing. Right. Yeah, and I think the key too is to take the time using these little feather strokes. It takes a minute, you know? And it should. Uh, and it, it really should. should. It yeah. really should. And blending it out. And it's, I think it's important too, sometimes you have to get so close to the mirror to see what you're doing. Right. To take a step back and really get the whole The, the whole picture. Exactly. Right. So Zana had really great brows. They're, they're quite full, but again, they're really light. They're almost the same color as her skin. So adding a little bit of, of the matte pencil that is sort of powdery and has a matte finish, it's gonna naturally just fill in some areas where she had some holes. You know, here on the end, it was a little bit kind of dipping inward, um, just to create that really strong brow line. Um, but again, because it's matte and you can blend it out, it creates a softness as well. So we really just accentuated her arch you know, lifting towards the outer part of the, of the pupil and extending her ends a little bit. And nobody has to know that these are not the brows that you weren't born with. Girl, you woke up like this. <laughs>